I tried to do two topics. Apparently black is the new black, motherfucker. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, we're heading out 41 today. Head out to Venice Beach to see our good friend Dave Coop. He moved back out there. We ain't seen him in a bit. We miss old Dave. He's a good man. God damn it, why do you have to make my pain worse by taking pictures and shit? Because <laughs> you fight, it's horrible. I know it is, I feel awful. I just, I hate you. Look at Dave's t shirt. Looks like he got it from the fair. The sequins, the bitch! Yeah, heading out today. Got girlfriend Jess on the Triumph. I got Taylor on the Road King. Little Jess clinging on the back of him. Devin on the Dyna and Waldo on the FXR. Here's a fun bit of Harley Davidson trivia. The FXR frame was designed by Eric Buell, and that was his first contribution to Harley Davidson. Bet you didn't know that shit. Maybe Hutch Puppy Attic knew that shit. He's a big old Buell fan. So we're hanging out here at Peggy's Corral. We had to make a little pit stop on our way to see Coons because somebody had to pull over to the side of the road and puke because he drank too much last night. <laughs> okay, you can blame it on me in that one shot I gave you. Yeah, right? My fault. <laughs> You're fine, sweetheart. Just hold my hair back. Gosh. It's okay, buddy. Let it out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right. Feeling better, bud? That does the trick. Dude, did you just eat that whole bag of chips? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Dem was rocking out last night at the bar, man. Doing the watermelon crawl, shooting pool, and kicking ass. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go now got a bag of chips and a couple cheeseburgers in his gut and all of a sudden it's all better baby How we just rode 110 miles for you to order a cheeseburger, Devin. You just did. I just did. What a a well done cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. After how many burgers did you eat this morning? Six. Six burgers. Six too crystal many. burgers. <laughs> Six burgers. I don't even. You always up at night. Cause real niggas don't sleep. We just take long ass blinks like that and get this money. See, y'all, the girls nasty. Preach. I don't twerk. I do my homework. Now let me get back to it. Preach. And now, deep thoughts.
by Jack Handy. Yeah, I just figured people been being a little too nice to old shade tree surgeon, so I'm gonna have to stir the shit a little bit. Today's topic's gonna be about religion, and specifically why atheists are fucking assholes. And how do I know atheists are assholes? Because I am one. Both an asshole and an atheist. I mean, if you if somebody casually asked me to describe myself, I would say, yeah, I'm an atheist. In so much as I don't believe there's an afterlife and I don't believe in a higher power. Well, for me, I treat religion or the idea of an afterlife like a scientific hypothesis. And there just aren't enough facts through there just aren't enough facts for me to say, yeah, I believe in an afterlife. Which goes against the very basis of faith, because the definition of faith is belief without proof. Now, I am open to the idea that I could be fucking wrong, because I've been wrong a shit ton of fucking times. The universe is a fucking vast place. <laughs> and that's a fucking understatement. You know, the, could some sort of higher being exist out there? You know, in the quantum world where fucking quarks can spin sideways and right side up at the same time. Could God be hiding in there somewhere? Sure, I don't fucking know. I'm just a fucking dude, man. I ain't no fucking scientist. But these are my personal beliefs. Too often I see somebody who's a self-described atheist whose only goal is to prove themselves right. The problem, the problem isn't what they believe, it's how they choose to project it to the outside world. And so I ask you, if you're an atheist, what's going on? Is this a personal journey for you where you've discovered something about yourself? Or are you just freaking going down this path so you can freaking lord it over everybody else? Shut your fucking mouth! No problem, Charlie. Shut the fuck up, you cunt! Shut it! One eternity later. All right. Back again, Shade Tree Surgeon and Jessica just leaving Copper Tail Brewery where we had breakfast in the form of a couple IPAs on our way to Red Star Rock Bar. Yes! Oh my god! 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 Oh you know why I like this shit so much? Because if the weather wasn't like this during the summer, we'd be up to our fucking assholes and tourists year fucking round. That's why I can't stand people bitching about the heat. The heat is what keeps this place nice. Talk about summertime, 100 degrees with 100% humidity, baby. That's what I like. I like to sweat. I can sit all day and drink a cold beer and have a fine sheen of sweat oozing out my body. That's a perfect day for Shade Tree Surgeon. Reminds me of fucking. I sweat when I fuck and I sweat when I drink and I sweat when I eat. It feels good, lets me know my body's working. I don't know, man, I dig that shit. But I guess, you know what? I'm pretty primal like that. Yeah, look at that. Looks good backing it up. Come on, baby. Here, flex them butt cheeks. <laughs> I did? Yeah. Where? Alright, so Laura here is making a really awesome calendar of her boyfriend Justin in his short shorts, in his short shorts for his mom titled, That's My Boy. Well, I got too drunk to finish today's vlog, so instead of finishing it, I'm going to eat this weed lollipop. I bought three different kinds of fucking meat from three different kinds of fucking animals, and we're going to grill the fuck out. If holding the camera with one hand and trying to cut stuff with the other hand looks hard, that's because it fucking is. Fuck. 
three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Well, on our way to Bone Valley, slightly worse for wear. I got really drunk last night. I did not. Oh, I and did. And Taylor got really fucking drunk last night. I was wearing panties. <laughs> for five fucking seconds and be nice to the camera? <laughs> no, huh? No. <laughs> hey. Jessica, we gotta give the people what they want. Here, you want your key? Pick it up. <laughs> it's hot enough out here. I'm sure there's nothing sexy about what's going on in there. <laughs> there's a splatter of dirt back on it. Yeah, well, it's got a spring on it. It's like a I want everybody to know that she bitches at me when I want to do video over, but she'll move the bikes all around to get the perfect light. I wanted the truck move too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop right in here.